Hello my loves, welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, professional astrologer, tarot, and intuitive reader. Thank you so much for joining us and for those of you that come back week after week, I love you and I appreciate you so much. First and foremost, we I will say, duh, of course, we're going to be pulling the cards. I'm going to be working with the Zombie Tarot this afternoon, and I have the chart pulled up on my left. I have really night, light notes this time this week. You guys, usually when I'm pulling the charts, I just tap right in, and I'm not going to lie to you, this week or this, this day, today feels very quiet. It feels very restorative it feels very reflective and i think i'm really feeling like that's why spirit is mirroring that energy or mirroring that energy to me so um i don't know if you guys can relate to that of course i'm going to give you guys the the details of what's happening within the planets because wow i mean 2022 i i've been saying this we're we're in a pressure cooker, we've been in a pressure co cooker for quite some time, and just because we're starting a new year doesn't mean that it's going to be all brand new energy. The planets don't go along human timetables. They go along with their own time, with divine timing, and those are transits that are happening and developing and, you know, maybe e tightening, meaning like the pressure of those planets gets more concentrated, more intensely felt and then sometimes they're pulling away so it kind of is dissipating but it's not something that typically happens overnight the only time when we feel that type of energy that's so drastic is usually around a full moon or a new moon especially during the eclipses i do want to tell you guys right away it's january 31st happy birthday to my mom the the aquarius shaman and acupuncture doctor she's amazing she's traveling right now celebrating her birthday so happy birthday mom i love you I do want to say there is a new moon in the sign of Aquarius, February 1st, and this new moon is going to, it, it really does seem to be very intense. I have to put that disclaimer out there because I'm looking at the charts, there's a lot of triggerization. I don't know if you guys are checking the news, watching the news, but it's really reflecting the predictions that, is, that I've been sharing from the jump. A lot of this has to do with Uranus moving to the sign of Taurus. A lot of it has to do with the transition of Pluto trying to exit out of Capricorn, finally, kind of nearing the, the end stages, but we still have a long way to go with that. And also Saturn moving through the sign of Aquarius, Neptune falling in the sign of Pisces. I know I'm a broken record, you guys, but I'm always going to give to you the truth. I'm always going to reveal to you what's happening within the charts. It's not just a one-time transit thing that you talk about at one time, one week, and then it's gone. This is what we are in the thick of for a minute. So I do want to tell you guys, be very careful and observe your mental health, your emotional health. There are external triggers 1,000% that can reflect internal conflict, internal drama. A lot of you guys have been called to do shadow work and, and healing, and I'm so proud of you for doing that. However, I do wanna tell you that even if you are doing shadow work or if you're not, please pace yourself. Take every day as softly and treat yourself as kindly as possible. We are in the thick of it, and we every day it's going to feel a bit more intense, but I can tell you there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, and I know that for some of you guys, um, you can hear this message. This is a very specific message for a select group of people, and if this doesn't relate to you, then please um, give give me the time and the space to, to, to deliver this message to someone in particular, because it is life-saving sometimes, um, and people do need to hear it. But I know that some people, they'll hear from the community, they'll hear from social media, because I'm looking at it as far as Saturn moving through the sign of Aquarius, it's the normal community groups, the normal friends, friendship circles that you would normally go to, the normal places that you would go to in order to find friendship and not find your identity, but find connection. It just feels cold. It feels empty and it can feel isolating or you can be with all of your friends and still feel alone. Or some of you guys, are pulling away and doing things totally on your own, which you might be celebrating your independence and celebrating discovery,
but at the same time that can come with its own folded up with that can come with its own difficult feelings complex feelings one of the things that my friends and I talk about often is this idea of the gray area. So nothing is ever really black and white. That's a human concept that it is that we have in our brains of, and it creates an expectation that can really create disappointment. And there's a lot of gray area, which means that not everything is going to be so clear and definitive that you're going to be like, yes, this is this, or no, this is no. There's a lot of gray area, and that's that's a whole whole part of the human experience here on Earth, is to not expect things to be one way, or to be easily explained, or to do the right thing, or to have the right answer, or to know ever what to do. I will say that regardless of who you are, where you come from, what you're working on, where you're going to ever go your sole purpose here is to be a loving beacon of light not only for others but definitely for yourself six hundred thousand percent and don't allow distractions or dogs pushing your camera around to <laughs> dis nova honey it's a truck come here and franklin you started it He's like, no, I didn't. Yes, she did. Okay, back to what it was that I was saying. Nova's confirming it, and so is Franklin. But I just want to tell you guys that sometimes the illusion of depression or the illusion of life or the illusion of love or the... And it can really know that it's how... How did that even happen? Literally my furniture thing. Look at this. I got to show you guys this. I know that this is a YouTube channel. I'm going to everything is supposed to be polished but no no i'm gonna keep it real with you look what just fell have y'all ever seen this <laughs> i have this in my office somehow this thing just fell off the side and to me i don't know what that means but maybe it means something to somebody but again it's just kind of like embracing life's weirdness and not needing to figure it out explain it be perfect it you're allowed to be messy you know, you're allowed to not have all the answers. Feelings, the human experience, I was saying this this past weekend, is very, very complex. It's very tricky. Um, it's very messy. And wherever it is that you are guided to go in this life, it doesn't, as, when it comes to your purpose, when it comes to your relationships, when it comes to your growth and your development, it's not something that I think that you guys should box in and put a label on it or at least try to and when it comes to navigating the the human experience the human emotions they're very messy and they can't be put in a jar and they can't always be articulated or explained and not you're you're going to feel a lot of the gray in your life and I don't want anyone to feel isolated and alone and abandoned or lose hope because they can't they can't find people to connect with at this time who relate to them so then they feel even more alone and isolated. That is the last thing I want for the world and I definitely don't want that for my tribe. Every time I look at the chart, it screams to me the breakdown of the foundation of what makes us feel secure, valuable, seen, heard comforted supported nurtured i'm watching it break down and this is not a month this is not a year it could be a long time for a lot of people and when you start to ex see these things and soak and get caught up in the illusion and i'm i'm not saying that how you are seeing the world is not real i i'm not saying that i am with with you 1000 percent. i'm looking at the chart and when i look at the chart i can see the soul I can see the soul of the collective, I can see the soul of my client, I can see the soul of myself, I can see the soul of a situation, a circumstance. That's astrology has been the only constant thing for me and I'm I connect with it on such a deep level more than I sometimes connect with other people. And that's been my own gray area, but the reason why I'm saying this is because every time I look at the chart, I feel like I'm looking at you. And I can see that with Neptune moving through the sign of Pisces, it's not that I'm feeling like a Neptune sextile Pluto in the sign of Capricorn who's been doing, Pluto is the planet of transformation, rebirth, regeneration, power control, manipulation, but also obsession and the dark, dark shadows of the mind. And what people aren't talking about enough is that even though a, a pleasant transit like a sextile or a trine, it even though it looks 
pretty on <clears throat> the astrology chart and it should usher in these effortless energies <clears throat> whether these changes are for good or you can see that they're transformative you can see that they're beneficial or they should be nice or you know you can logically explain to yourself that they're ushering in powerful positive change over the direction of your life or the course of your life or the course of the relationship or your money or your finances or your health the reality is is that when you're in it when you are in it it can be really hard to convince yourself that there's a light at the end of the tunnel or all this is going to be worth it at the end and i'm going to tell you today that it is it is worth it it is worth it and i'm never going to lie to you guys i'm never going to lie to you guys there are going to be some bumps and some hurdles moving forward into the future without a doubt but i will also tell you to not give up hope to not be so disappointed it is not too late it will turn around there are a lot of people again on social media a lot of memes a lot of TikToks, a lot of things that you're going to see they're going to be like you know they're going to see seem cliche they're going to seem canned and they're going to tell you okay in six weeks time or two weeks time you're going to receive this breakthrough message and you keep believing it again and again and again and then it doesn't happen and over time because the internet society your community your tribe or the illusion of the world continues to lie to you and what fucks you up is the fact that you believe it every time and you lose faith when it doesn't occur when it doesn't happen this is because our society is so wired sometimes to be so tapped into this power of positive thinking and affirmations and all those other things which is absolutely awesome but they are neglecting the fact that sometimes it, even the good doesn't feel good and sometimes things don't happen right away and wishful thinking alone is not going to save us all and this is why I've promised you guys to be authentic, to be myself, to show up, to not paint a rosy picture of anything, to not put on a performance, to not pretend like I, you know, I'm this perfect, highly evolved human being. I'm human just like you. I, I suffer with depression and anxiety and also eating disorders almost my entire life. That's something that people don't know. One of the things that grounds me is taking care of my chickens, taking care of my dogs, and taking care of my home. I'm normally wired to serve, to be of service, and I show up for the world as much as it is that I can. And that's what has been my balance, the astrology charts, tarot, um, and my gray area. Like, that has been my anchor in my gray area. And that has kept me here. You know, that has kept me connected that has kept me connected and i i'm saying all this to say that and maybe this is just going to be this week's message and maybe i'm just going to leave it at that but i'm saying all this to say i'm looking at the charts and i no matter what it is that you are could be experiencing right now it's not trivial no ma'am it's not light it's not insignificant it does not pale in comparison to someone else's struggles that seem more heavier than yours or it doesn't weigh more than you know that someone else's trivial stuff everybody when i connect with spirit when i connect with god god is real this divine loving energy is real it is present it has not abandoned anyone and there's this level of compassion and kindness that it always shows up and says I see you, I, I value you, I wanna be here for you, I wanna be present with you. I want you to come to me, talk to me in your meditative space. I want you to cry to me, I want you to lean on me. I don't want you to lean lean on the world. I don't wanna lean you to lean on just your community, your family, your friends, all the only. Because when you allow yourself to be cracked open, I'm promising you, this is where you're going to find immense strength. And what does that look like? This means that some of the people that have gone through the most tumultuous journeys, either physically in their life or internally, whether it be emotional, mental, spiritual, whatever, they are being cracked out of the, out of the system, out of, they're being breaking, broken free, pulled out of the mold that is so robotic. This is a very messy experience and it can be very isolating, but these people who are being broken away from the collective or from the rest of humanity and transformed in their own powerful ways are going to be the ones that create the shifts wherever it is that they go within this life, in their life. And that, that, my friend, is literally going to be your sole purpose for being here on earth. And it is tough. 
you are going to be you're going to learn that it's not a paycheck that is going to give you your purpose you are going to learn that it's not um you know this these like monotonous jobs that are going to give you your purpose but it's going to be the places and the people that you meet along the way along your journey that are going that you the lives that you shift every single day and that is going to be your greatest purpose your greatest legacy that is going to be one one of your greatest gifts while you are here on earth the more that you not even that you're allowing it but the more that you are getting broken down the more that you are easy to connect with because it's not just you and the more that you are able to see another human being as as a person with a story as a person with an ego that they're operating from or a broken heart that they are making their decisions from or um toxic uh ha habitual reactions that they have to this world the more that you can see that the more that you can identify with them and you want to approach them not to change them but to allow them to at least in that moment be seen heard felt and know that they are loved that is why we are all here individually that is the that is the reason why we are here i know that for a fact in the spiritual community i'm so happy for it because a lot of us spiritual people are highly evolving but there's still this aspect within a lot of us that is very judgmental harsh punishing cold icy and distant and it's not speaking the truth it's not authentic it paints this picture of i am better than now because i'm not doing this or i'm doing this or whatever the case is and the reality is is that when you have that mentality you have already been disconnected spirituality and the human experience is not a picture perfect easy ironed out experience it's very messy there's a lot of highs and lows and when i'm telling you it's not black and white it's more gray area than anything else why aren't we talking about that enough and when our people my people my tribe are excited and ambitious to explore their spiritual gifts and explore explore themselves and to connect with others and to manifest their greatest dreams and, and wishes and desires they go to this community of what they think is like-minded souls and then they're approached or met with judgment harshness and then they feel guilt and shame for who they are and what they're doing with the lives that they are leaving leading individually that's when my heart breaks so instead of me actually coming on here and talking about what's happening within within these planets i'm going to come in and share this message because i wasn't planning on it but clearly i have to say it allow yourself to be called guided to where spirit is going to lead you god the universe the divine has a very amazing humorous way of putting people at the right place at the right time in places that may not be understood by the human mind. I will give a short example. I was at the bar, well, at a club with my friends, just dancing. I was just talking to my friend about this and the level of judgment sometimes that I would get or receive from the internet, which is fine because I'm out enjoying my life and dancing is, is bananas because when I tell you I'm sober, you know, I, I live sober living for the most part. You guys know for the longest time I'm like, I'm going to go off on a tangent with that, but it doesn't matter. When I'm dancing and I throw my head back and I'm feeling the music, I feel, once again, God. I feel the energy of the universe. I feel the energy of the collective. I feel connected, so super connected. And the other thing is that not only am I allowed to express myself and feel super connected to the divine in those moments of just reckless abandon just totally uninhibited joy and pleasure because god wants that for me the divine wants that for me but there are also i'm not the only one in these places i'm not the only one at the bar at a restaurant at the mall at the park in a church <laughs> or at a club there are other people that are there and everyone has a story and by the grace of God, there's something about those places that sometimes attracts really hurt people. And that's where they go to, to escape. And if you are ever, I, I'll say that one of the last weekends, there was this guy who I could just tell. I was just pulling intuitive messages. That's just always what I do. 
I stopped doing intuitive messages for the collective, like, like on and getting paid for it, um, because I was protecting my energy. But I I started doing way more of doing random messages to for people on the street and for free, and it gives so much back to me and I know that because I'm f being fulfilled filled up I can give to them so much and they walk away from our experience both of us walk away from the experience changed but there was this one guy I could tell that he was broken I literally held his head in my hands and he was crying in my hands I'm not gonna give the details of it and if you're watching it um, if this is you that was there I I hope that you're well I wish you best and I'm love I would love to hear what happened based upon what we talked about but I literally held his head in my hands while he cried I was wipe wiping his tears with my thumbs telling him everything channeling everything that it is that he needed to hear while rubbing his forehead and he needed to melt it down and the reason why I'm sharing this story is because again my purpose here on earth is not to just show up in ways that is perfectly labeled just as a spiritual teacher as an astrologer as this or as an intuitive you need to be here no god or the divine or my higher self is not confined or contained to any one way of showing up for the world or showing up for myself i go where i am called and i respect and i honor my path and where spirit leads me because that's where i'm meant to go and who i'm meant to talk to is who i'm supposed to who's supposed to receive the message and it's not only what it is that I'm doing for others, but it's also who I'm meant to connect with and who's meant to, who I'm meant to bump into, who I'm meant to give a hug, get a hug from, or who I'm meant to learn something from, or get a laugh from, or meet a stranger and cry and hug and never see them again. That is why we are here. And when you put that into perspective, it kind of takes away from the heat, the pressure of the liquid hot magma of the experience that it is to be a human. Because if all we can do and all we have to do is just show up every day and be, and you're not making a mistake, and you can't do wrong simply just by being and, and being messy and being in that gray area, then gosh damn it, that is the best gift that the universe, that God, that the higher power could ever have given to us. That is the best gift. And my wish for you today is that that be your focus this week. I didn't know that this is what I was gonna say, but this is what I'm gonna say. My wish for you, to you that is spending this time with me right now number one thank you but my wish to you is that and my intention is that that is your focus this week is that you just being who you are and you allowing yourself to be who you are is is enough it's more than enough and it is powerful and it is beautiful and it is stunning it is spectacular you are going to change the world and the days when it is that you don't you get to change your own world by not having to change the rest of the world that is life-changing and sometimes you don't have to do anything because you just being, again, is enough. Freaking love you. Empress! Look, I literally just cut the deck. Empress. And two pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. Yo, I will say Venus goes, will went direct January 29th and Mercury will finally go um, direct on the 3rd of February. Um, Sun is going to be conjunct Saturn on the 4th. Um, February 6th, Mars squares off with Chiron. Take it easy, easy this week, okay? It's going to be a tough one. <laughs> because what, we're all in this together. If you need me, you can find me within the Apothecary. If you need me, you can find me on social media. There's only one Instagram account for me when it comes to my business, and that's at Bahati Life. Anything else is a scam except my personal account, which is Jessica X Alexandria. I love you, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing the hottie life apothecary is the magical home of jessica alexandria where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you. You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. 
you'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary and don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at BahadiLife where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.